We were arch enemies at one point. I used to have nightmares about you. You would haunt me. Do the nightmares start when I was in the vlog squad, after the vlog squad, before Starbucks, after Starbucks, frenemies or after frenemies? <laughs> and they're like, so what's going on? Like, what Jeff? We need to see the edit. And they're like, he just got out of surgery. And like, can we come by and like do the That's edit? So scary. So I had to like get up and go sit in the chair and I'm just sitting there with my eye bleeding and David and Natalie are at the computer. <gasps> what? He used to be out on the corner. He was dealing in drugs. Got himself a barber's chair and gave off some cuts. Now he He's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff FM. Okay. Jeff FM. Yes. I know I have photos of this. Sometimes. Do you get a cut of the Jeff FM? I don't. And you, he doesn't come on canceled as much. Maybe should I start being like Mike? Where you pay each other out? I mean, <laughs> no, but they like do it evenly. Like I did yours, so you do mine. I did yours. I'm just I don't down. keep track like that. Like oh. we have a content relationship where we trade off, you know? Yeah. And, and I kind of get that. I don't yeah. keep, I'm not keeping score. You know, if I feel like I'm, I, I do everything she asks of me. You Except know? for Dancing with the Stars yesterday. Well, that's because oh. I was editing our video. I was working on our <laughs> image. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're doing it. Yes. Do you have an intro? Did we ruin the intro? No, the intro. Was fine because everything is ruined. You My play. set's ruined. I have no place to shoot out of. So thank you for letting me have this place. Yes. And thank you for just doing it. Oh my God, I'm honored. Uh, I love that you're in the host chair too. You look so cool. I've never been you. on this it side. It feels good. It's a beautiful set. Thank you. Yeah. So for those of you who don't know, <laughs> Trisha, you know, I don't even know what to tell you. Where do I start? Trisha f***ing paid us. Mogul, <laughs> entrepreneur, that Mm-hmm. She is in her new era. She's a mother. She's a wife. She's a sleigh. Yeah. Just terrified right now. Well, no, I'm not, I'm not as terrified now. We just did yeah. your show. Uh, we were arch enemies at one point. I used to have nightmares about you. You would haunt you me. Did? You know, you had a major effect on my life. And now I explained it to you on your on your show that we just recorded. Like, I thank you for everything that we went through because you opened my eyes. Did the nightmares start... When I was in the vlog squad, after the vlog squad, before Starbucks, after Starbucks, frenemies or after frenemies? <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> Which they, era? They, they started Trump after uh, frenemies because, you know, and I, when I was nervous when I came in here, it's because we have a lot to unpack. These things yeah. that we're about to talk about, you know, they've been building for a long time. You yeah. know, well, we all talked. the drama. We were part of a group that we were both exiled from and banished to make look crazy. Yeah. And I was actually crazy. I went to a mental hospital, but. You said it, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you were there that night. I always bring it I up to you. I didn't see you, though. Jeff. I waited in the lobby. Didn't see you. You know, I just heard things. And what that's happened the thing. After? I heard always, you know, Trisha's bad shit crazy. Stay away from her. Like, avoid oh her. God. And Jesus. I did avoid you one time, but this is the one thing I want. I want to talk about the Starbucks situation. I'm just here for the vibes by the way thank you Tana, for audience. coming here to mediate and sort of be like mediate. the. she's like you're the co-host of jeff FM. she's the reason i watch jeff fm you know what i mean Fine. It's, yeah I, I she, I, she yeah. gets the vibe done. i see the i see the comments i, I know i know what part of the audience you are in. i just love you both so dearly in this crossover episode if it's not for anyone else it's for me i'm having the best day yeah. and you're just kind of like the golden goose over here. Like, I feel like you'd get the views always. And we love you, but you know, you get the views and that's amazing. I don't think there's any girl like you right now out there that gets views every podcast you're on. I know, but that's not what I'm doing it for here. I have her here because she's the one who brought us back together. You guys did a podcast together and you know, this game, there's like crews and stuff and like, don't, you know, don't mess with them. They're the ops and stuff like that. But you know, you, I didn't know where we stood for all this time. Cause we had such a, a, yeah. a fallout, a beef publicly, you know, and now, you know, I'm not friends with any of those people. You're not friends with any of them. And I saw you do a show with her and you spoke very highly of me, or you, I don't know if you spoke highly of me. You're just like, I don't know. I fucking, I'll do a show with Jeff, whatever. <laughs> well, I always just, we've known each other and we have, we share so much of the same history we're like kind of you know like we said we're kind of the same person the same movie you know yeah we like both did all these reality shows we're trying to just get in where we could get in and then we ended up in david's crew somehow which is like crazy like how did that happen we're both smart people like what yeah i'm just like how how are we in there for so long um well i kind of caught like the tail end of it and you were already kind of leaving yeah why didn't get live why didn't leave they Exiled me. Exiled. Yeah. So about that, <laughs> you know, we had an infamous run in at Starbucks. Yeah. This was about two months after the exile. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. It was April of 2019. I remember. So I guess the way I feel about everybody in that crew that chose a side against me, you know, that's how you felt towards me. And then what I did just added that much more on top of it because I purposely, well, you look at it in a different way. You say you punked me out of there, which is a funny narrative you too. Punked. I think it's funny you that like- Because you were, you were always built up as like, Jeff's so scary. He went to prison. He's this badass. And then you just like 
left because I went into Starbucks. Well, I was like, oh my first of God, all, what? what am I going to do to a woman? Like, I'm not going to no, go. Uh, no, wait, what? I thought you were going to say hi because I thought we were always cool. Like, truly, I thought okay. we were cool. We were, so, wait, but also happened? you had to break up with my friend and you were targeting some of my friends at the time on online. And we, you know, at the time that group is like, don't get involved in drama. Don't even feed into it like we were above it or some <laughs> well, shit. we were at Starbucks and I wasn't filming. Like, this was just no, no, I know, I know. But for me in my head, like me with my like hard headed bro, you know, what'd you call it? Straight male like energy hetero, yeah. male, hetero, hetero, hetero bullshit hetero. yeah, yeah uh, hetero bullshit you know? is what it is That's and part. you know I'm just a loyal friend so if if you broke up with one of my friends and like I see you out I, I was more like I'm not gonna give a fake hello cause that's easier to do than like you know purposely be like I don't fuck with you why at don't the time. you just say that to my face then be like look I don't fuck with you like get out of this Starbucks I wouldn't like press you you know like you're I, not Patty Smith with Tana I, I wouldn't do it to a woman ever no that's what the fuck I what points that. do you get yeah. for that when you were telling me the Todd story with you I'm like any guy who like gets in a girl's face is like weird and i don't i just i mean he was just like it was a stern tone and maybe we were a little closer than we should be i don't want to like he already called me a liar so i'm, I'm like, trying to keep it so factual <laughs> yeah but that's fine that's jeff fine. just dipped because i sat in the reflection and i'm getting so excited so you were in star for the people who don't know forgive me that i'm not caught up on starbucks you don't know the starbucks the starbucks you? saga well, I, you I, were I, in I like a snow white outfit or something you had a giant <laughs> wig on and <laughs> Wig. I was in a Marsha Brady outfit. And it was extensions. Okay. <laughs> it was not Snow Your White. Your memory is insane. Okay. I remember because I filmed the Burger King mukbang right before then in my black BMW. And I remember going to the Starbucks right across the street because it's the one on uh, La Brea right by Holy your apartment. fuck. I don't remember anything yeah. that much. <laughs> anything. That's the one. That's and I was it. excited because I didn't want to be out of the group. I really wanted to be back in that group so bad I missed it. I was having like PTSD. I was just like, oh man, I want to be back in there. So when I saw you and I thought we were always cool, I was like, oh, this is like He's gonna be like, oh, I saw Trish. She was nice. So I was like, yeah, it's gonna be a nice exchange. Damn. And then I was like, oh my god. So I was like in there ordering my drink. I see you. In but you reflection. didn't even order. No, he no, ordered. He was had, ahead of me. I had already ordered. I was waiting for it. He's but waiting I was in the my, back. My did old you get assistant the at the time. Or did you but leave without damn, the coffee? No, you did not get it. You did not get it. That's so fucked. No, my assistant waited it and grabbed it. I was like, let me get the fuck out of here. More important uh, questions like, what were we ordering? Like, was it like a chai latte? Yeah, you said I got a sandwich or something. There was I, a sandwich out there. I don't know if it was for you. Was but it there the was a sandwich and a coffee? No, I don't get no fucking Starbucks sandwiches. They're disgusting. Uh, it was just a black coffee. It was just like a what? black iced coffee, just straight gasoline. And the way you phrased it, I was like, oh, he was getting muffins and, you know, like. <laughs> I think I and that was what offended you probably And you left your, your fucking sandwich, <laughs> you punk ass. Like, you left your fucking sandwich. You're supposed to be this tough you guy. Left you left your sandwich. Oh, I, was <laughs> your <crappy. laughs> I had nothing to lose. I literally had zero to lose. I didn't own yeah. anything. I didn't have a boyfriend. Nothing. I was just like, I don't care. I'm just going to go off. because Yeah, you did. And you did. But... <sighs> Like now I realize what I did to you. I gave you like, like I, I hit you at the cool kids table and like, yes. oh, you can't come in. You, you know, like, yeah, very much. But and I, was I like, didn't Wait, view you it as join that. this group. You were only like six months in. I'm like, why are I, you big timing me? I know. Who the fuck did I think I was? Fresh out of prison. That's how they made it seem. Like Jeff, Jeff's out of prison. Jeff's this. I'm just like, oh my God. Like, yeah. David saw one mug shot. He's like, oh, this guy's a fucking, you know. I thought he was going to shank you in the Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, it was a homemade <laughs> shank made out of a coffee cup. I was actually funny. never I, scared of Jeff. That's probably why I made a video because I think if I was, I was genuinely scared of your friend. I saw your friend one time in Hollywood Boulevard, the scary one that went to prison with you too. He's Cody. big, Cody. I yeah. saw him one time on Hollywood. Like he actually scares me, but you never scared me. So that's why I made the videos. I think if I was genuinely scared, I would well, have never said anything. Well, that's why I was so good at everything because I wasn't the scary one. You, you were know? not the scary one, no, no for no, sure. I was the brains always of the. Operation. Oh well, I wouldn't have said that. I thought you were like <laughs> the looks of the group or something. Yeah, ba back then you just yeah. on your show you asked such a funny question you're like so how do you feel now that your looks have been taken from you and you're just all this bigger now or something <laughs> no, it's, it's funny because you two are very similar in the sense like you just no filter you're way more no filter no, than you you sort of kind of think about what you're going to say before what? you say it but you just say it but you're both honestly like unapologetically yourselves you. but you've grown on me Tana's nicer in general. You've always been nice. You're like a nice person. Even to the, your girlfriends who like take your men and stuff like that. You're like, that's fine. I'm like, oh my God, girl. I would like never talk to them again. But you're then I have episodes and then someone gets it. It's not always, you know, it just depends. I haven't seen a rant from you since like your 15 year old Vegas days. Like, I know, I guess. Maybe I yeah. should get No, no, I love it. She's nicer. That's the difference. She's Lately, nicer. Yeah. You just been dodging controversies. You got in that beef with that wine tour lady in France. Yeah. And you were but like. But you apologized. 
Did you or no? Not kind really. Of she kind of was like, she kind of just like, she's not shying away from things. Like she'll just address it. Like, yeah, I, I fucking shit on this wine tour lady. I don't want to hear about the education of wine. Like what I yeah. do so bad. She was just really, she was honest to God, just so mean to me. And I was at my weakest and my lowest. Yeah. <laughs> which my Wait. weakest and my lowest is just walking miles, which is crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Don't make me walk. How are you going to be a New York girl? Wait, I know. <laughs> That's walking everywhere. But I hate when walking. When we were just in New York, I like took it up. Like I started to try to just walk around the city. <sighs> And like mm-hmm. become a little like a lone walk. It's nice because you you play the sad music, you think about things. Oh my gosh! Oh, you played good. sad music. Remember when I texted you? I saw a barber shop like on the side of the road in New York. I was just walking like little miles around. Yeah, it is nice. Become... It is it is on our you know we're we're moving there pretty much, but we're gonna be back and forth. Okay, so you, be know, back. But you have the ideal life here. You've retired. You stay out of the drama now. <laughs> it's sort of like you're retired, but I am retired for sure. I you never saw see the anyone. show here, a new show that's doing great. Thank you. Yeah, I mean it, the retired life is a good life. You're almost there. You're almost 35, so. I know. <laughs> You'll be to, midlife soon. <laughs> mm-hmm, about to turn 35 in a year, year and a half. But almost 40, I, pushing it. Pretty basically, I'm basically, I'm basically dead. Right you were now. the geriatric vlog squad. Well, no, you were not the geriatric vlog squad. Member. No, fuck out of here. Absolutely not. Yeah. I'll see comments like that. I'm like, yo, relax. Like we got like a 16 year difference. Did you ever feel old in that group? No. No. Because I've like. I'm always I've always been myself like I was sober through I just got sober right before I met all them so I was kind of like this shit's kind of dumb you that's know what I'm saying didn't you feel old like everyone's just partying getting drunk all the time and you're just like oh this is like not my vibe anymore yeah but also like I wasn't really partaking so I was like this isn't my vibe I wasn't doing what they were doing and yeah. also like when everybody would laugh I would not like if you notice like I would not do that you know like I was like the fuck are you guys made, all he do he made everyone do it I everyone would laugh. so do that I was such a sellout I wanted my screen time so bad in <laughs> David's vlogs they'd say the dumbest shit and I'd be like <laughs> everybody it's so embarrassing you yeah. were so good in that too you were the star that's so I'm saying you're the stars of every video you're in, which you're is like so remarkable, nice. which is why I have always yeah, like, she is. No, seriously, they're like, but I think there was it. no place for me. Like I, you know, they they needed a character. You know, they had prison, they had old, they had everything, and I feel like <laughs> Corinna kind of did the sexual like stuff, and that's what David would have wanted me to be. In. I also think yeah. you were just like busy, like you weren't in it. Like people really, it was like 24 hours. You're just hanging out. Like I would just 24 hours with them. I never saw my family, never saw anything. Like it was weird. It was a big commitment. Yeah, and and even, did, even like, I was doing the barbershop show through all of it, and I would remember like it was so hard to get away and edit that and stay focused on that but it's something it. I made sure that me and like it. my crew we always talked about like no we need to stay on top of our own shit because this is not like good things don't last forever that That's I always, smart. and I would always talk I know you don't talk about say his name or anything but mm-hmm. we would always talk because you you know we, we've been through more shit and we like we knew that the end was near you know oh interesting That's... He, he would always say it he's like this shit's gonna end soon you know oh I want to end oh with with David specifically yeah oh okay to me I always just thought like yeah I'm but whatever go on to the next thing you know what I mean like you just mm-hmm. it's like a stepping stone you never That's the mentality That's how of someone been. who would, who believes in themselves to have the ability to continue to do something else you know like yeah. the other yeah. people are fearful of the end because they don't believe that they're yeah. they could create it is crazy to watch it all happen just like everyone just fade yeah, yeah. except for you except congrats for us. by except the way i wish we were on your set because i was so i love going to sets i'm always like because th- your set you're like the first person who did like a podcast set like you really are i don't think anyone else like has built a set like yours. are you talking about the barbershop or the fm the jeff fm I like feel that like, was like a news show like a talk thank show thank you r.i.p it's gone it's i know i haven't like processed we're talking it. about it like a person that's no longer here it's yet. so sad because it was such good quality i remember seeing like oh my god this is like production did we you build a set we yeah, uh, Oscar's father built it, um, and I brought him by because when it was flooded, I brought him by to see his work destroyed. You know, I, I, I it's so I don't it was know such why David Dobrik. <laughs> no, well, yeah, also like, because look like at I, this, cry. <laughs> I, I look at him; he's like you know, like a, a kind of like a, a West Coast father to me too. Like you know, he's an older guy; he builds all our sets, and he. I was kind of asking him like, "What do you think I should do? Should I rebuild here, or should I take this as a sign to move on?" And I'm, I've always been big on that. Like, if some bad shit happens, you know, instead of like sitting there just dwelling on it, take it as something. Like, where can you see the positive in it, and let's move on from this and make it into a positive. Yeah. So now I, I think I have to move on from that set and that apartment. So that's why I'm kind of thinking like, <laughs> you know, okay. just just move in here and this set. You know, <laughs> come in. Yeah. I mean, this is you. This fits. Thank you. This I, is perfect. I wanted to get it's, a me vibe. I love. I just. Right. I think it's so funny to see. That, like my favorite thing, even when we were talking about Fashion Week, is putting you in environments that like <laughs> aren't you. Like seeing you with this glitter microphone right now. It's, it's so beautiful. So great. I, I love it. it. I love it too. Right now, I'm it takes loving. away the scariness of you. Like you know what I mean. Like there's no intimidation factor right now. It's yeah. zero. Are you like? N- are you good completely? Because when I did your show, I was super nervous. I was, I was freaking out. Yeah. No, I always was. I was excited. I really was because it just again, it's like something that. It's like such a blast from the past and it's like just like we never ever talked about any of it. So for me, it's like 
we kind of said it, it's like therapeutic in a way like oh someone else felt this way someone else was called crazy when we we're so different and our situations were so different and it's like it wasn't just me it was like this like weird cult brainwashed mentality that me yeah. you know because yeah. I really did struggle that year like I really did I really did think I was crazy so I just kept going crazier and crazier because I was like well this is just me this is you know I have to de- people have to deal with me I'm just crazy and then I would go to these like facilities and they're like no you're like not crazy like this is what's going on with you and blah blah it's a crazy thing having everything public and being around these people that are so warped you know, everybody in this business is warped. Mm-hmm. I, I am guilty of that too, but at least I can realize it. You know, people think like, yeah, this shit's all normal. I'm normal with like the way I act, you know, you, you're fucking Why'd you absolutely look at me? crazy because <laughs> you're that shit crazy. You were fine. You're so, Tana, no, you she so? plays, she knows, she knows what she's doing. She plays the game. She's a mastermind. So smart. I've been seeing you lately in interviews and I'm just like, I think you did one with actual Forbes, not the fake Forbes. And he was like, Real oh my Forbes. God. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and you were so like, you were in a suit. You were like so articulate. I was just like, oh my God, like this is, you really fooled it. And I'm trying so hard to rebrand. I really am. Your I rebrand am. is great. I think I've been way less crazy though. Is it because of me? Do I take credit? Do I take credit for that? Love is changes that, you. That's what I was saying. Love, love <laughs> changes you. I feel like when we started becoming real close, like she just got way darker. Because I know? was like, way. I've always been like really fucking offensive. My sense of humor, mm-hmm. especially off camera, and like I, that's the type of humor I find funny. And my favorite comedians and so on. And for a while, I think I was trying. And now I'm rebranding in different ways, but I was just trying to be so brand safe, you know, oh, really? for me, like still crazy, still OnlyFans, still all that. But I wouldn't make like a dark joke because I was afraid of being canceled. And mm. I think that I call it the Jeff effect. I always just say like you, you make it to where like yeah, that, I can be my offensive comedic self. Thank I guess. you. But also yeah, there's a Tana, there's a Tana effect too. What's look Tana effect? Me, I mean, look at me now. Look at what I'm doing. I'm in this pink chair yeah. with this pink mic. She made you more likable. Oh, well, I think that when I met you, I was like, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. She gave you the rebrand of a lifetime. You're... We saw you with David defending him, but kicking it up with him, and then Tana came along. I, I was Kiki. drinking the Kool-Aid. I was drinking the Kool-Aid. You know, you we were, were all guilty of it. Well, I yeah. think you're very secure in your masculinity, and when I met you, I, I obviously it's quite a noticeable thing about you. You're quite secure in your masculinity. So I, I think it was fun to be like, if you're so secure, let's have you do things like this. Like, you know what I mean? And it's, it's funny. And people enjoy the dichotomy, I think, of uh-huh. seeing you, prisoner, barber, gym, tan, laundry. All right, real quick, I uh, want to thank the sponsors of this episode, Manscaped. We are still here in the hotel, so thank you, Manscaped, for uh, sticking by us through these tough times. Manscaped is the best trimmer to trim your nuts. You want to make sure that you don't snip that loose skin on your, on your testicles. These trimmers are the best in the biz for that. You don't want a bloodbath all over your shower, and then you're going to make a big mess. And you don't want to have to, you know, have to clean that up or have somebody else clean that up. That's not very nice for me to have your ball blood all over the place. Manscaped is the global leaders in men's blow the waist grooming. For those who don't know, April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, but that hasn't stopped Manscaped from spreading awareness for testicular cancer all year long. With the help from the Testicular Cancer Society, Manscaped is bringing back their special edition TCS Lawn Mower 4.0 trimmer. This will be the last launch of this collectible, so be sure to pick yours up before they're gone for good. Use code Jeff's Barbershop to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Join the movement like the other nine million men who trust Manscaped. I've been living out of this hotel for the past month, and I don't have any of my stuff here. I don't have my clippers. So I've been using this Manscaped trimmer that I use to trim my nuts to give my friends haircuts all, all week here at the hotel because they just won't leave me alone. And it's a good quality trimmer. It even has these different guard attachments so I can give my friends a nice fade. And it has that skin safe technology, you know. Manscaped, in addition to providing the right tools for your family jewels, they have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Look, it's a good cause. I got my lawnmower 4.0. I don't even have the collectible one yet, but there are only 15,000 units out, so go and get it now. It's purple. Join the Manscaped movement and start taking care of your balls today. Get 20% off plus free shipping with code Jeff's Barbershop at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with code jeff's barbershop at manscaped.com your balls will thank you all right now back on with the show why did you guys go to jersey shore if just for fun my family had a vacation planned for like six months did you went on a family vacation with you what well, well then you know like <laughs> why you're going on family vacation she came at the family yeah what you know his parents I have met Jeff's parents. I love them. They're so sweet. I, they I love like her too. Wow. It's so funny because it's I, I like the way you came out is so surprising. In I'm your the only mom one is my like family that's ever been arrested, ever been in any sort of trouble. They're so wholesome. 
They like make, really? they make you meatballs and they give you hugs oh, and they really? love you. And they're so wholesome. Yeah, I, I would think you like don't know your parents or something. I, I don't know. know. That's right? great. So you I were loved. Like, I and always then what wanted. Happened? I wanted to have like a upbringing like that. You yeah. know, like why don't you guys get divorced or something? You know, right? Yeah. Same. I always thought I wanted more drama. They were divorced, but I thought I should have more drama in my life. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> worked a lot, so I was like, well, I'll just ignore it. But that's it builds cool. character. It makes the most interesting people. I mean, again, this is why she's like a star because like when I hear about her family, I was like, holy shit, girl! Like, how are you? Yeah. Like. Definitely wish I had less. Yeah, <laughs> you really um, turned it around. You like I, I definitely made me funny. You know what I mean? Like when I have kids one day, it's like fuck. Like maybe once a month, I'm just gonna like you're gonna be the sprinkle mom. in some abuse. You know, so they so you care. <laughs> so <laughs> so, so you guys are, are fucking loaded now. You know, and your kids are gonna be growing up all spoiled and shit. You I know, get like, so scared of that. Wait, you do? As, Why? As, like, mom, I don't want like, a nepo baby. Like one of my best friends, Ari. Be nepo baby. I'm sorry if you're listening to this, Ari, yeah. but he's you know seeing his nepo baby ways. I'm like. Like, no, like, I guess they will on paper be a Nepo baby, but yeah. like, I want my kid to just, you know, eat the ramen and go to school if they get, hopefully they get a little bullied. No, girl. What? Just a little, just no. a little. Maybe that'll change once they have a kid, but you know what I mean? Like, I just, I want, you need experiences like that to build character. Like, I want I just, to raise a bully. You know, oh, I'm, put, I'm putting that no, kid in what? fucking martial arts class the second it comes out oh, of your womb. Of your womb? I'm kidding. I'm joking about that part. No, but I, yeah, I would That's like. That's what's to- funny is if we had a kid, I'd be trying to take the kid to like the nail salon, and then you're going to be trying to take it to martial arts, and uh, then it's like, but it gives it a fair chance to come out as you know whatever it be wants balanced. to be. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I like that you want it with no gender. You don't care. You're just like, it. <laughs> I like it. That's yeah. good. That's a good way to be. Yeah, I think that'll be amazing. You'll be a really good mom because of the way you grew. Up. Like I feel like you go either like your parents or the complete opposite, where you just want them to have like a cute family life. So wait, we just skipped over that part. Our kid is going to be genderless. Is that what? No, I just say it because she doesn't care for the like, boy or girl. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. okay. I want a boy. I, I mean, I don't think no, there's no. Wrong with that. <laughs> oh no, I was You're already scoping get a girl. out that little league field down the street. Well, I was say like, that could... when you, I really want. I actually really want a boy as well, just because I think it's less like drama and Same. worrying. That's and what I you, wanted. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they say that whatever you really want, you get the opposite of. Yeah. I know? really wanted a boy to have like an older brother because I thought we'd have two, and so I really wanted a boy, and I was the same way. As soon as I found out a girl, I cried because I was like, she has to go through so much shit. Like, there's gonna be people just harassing her all the time. And I just feel like men don't go, they just don't, I have a brother and they just don't go through the same thing. Like yeah. as like little girls do. And it's like, it breaks my heart to know. So that's why I'm going to be like helicopter parent, just like never let her like leave the house, homeschool or everything. Cause I'm just like, girls have it so fucking tough. And it's like, I, I, I was so scared. So I wanted a boy too. Like but- what, what's, what's, what do you mean by that? Like uh, periods my, and stuff? Like no, no, that's the easy part. That was sad. You're better than that. I know. No, <laughs> I just want to get her a little riled up. Just, you know, uh, if I just say dumb, like straight male shit, she's gonna yes, start going it, off. But that's the whole problem right there. You just I'll constantly get sexualized and guys being assholes and teachers molesting you and just constantly oogled and googled into your body and you're fat and you're this and you're that. It's just like guys don't have to deal with that. Like the Barbie monologue movie. It's just like they have to do so much and guys can be disgusting, fat, old, broke. Like it doesn't matter and they can do anything. Mm-hmm. But girls, it's like you have to be perfect. And even when you're perfect, that people hate you because you're perfect. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you. And it's they so say like men, like they age and women. You know, like that's, how, that's yeah. it. right. And that's not true. We're like, oh, men age like fine. Why it's like, no, you're I disgusting. I like older and old. women. I, <laughs> my, I go for like forty plus. My, that, when? <laughs> what? That, I just, can I get one? Last reference? girl I dated was five years older than me. The what last she? girl I actually dated. When did you date? I know I didn't don't talk date. about it publicly. How, when's the last really, time you dated someone? This was like last year. What? Yeah. During I, your eye situation? Yeah, which wow. is a bad time to Crazy. bring to bring that in, you know, because like I was going through so much like mentally. Yeah, it's hard. I don't want you to feel like that, that you can't like date because of your eye. Yeah, but at the time I was like, I'm I'm trying to get I didn't realize it's this is like the new version of me. So just accept it and fucking move on, find somebody. Start dating. Yeah. That's why it's better to get married like right away because then when something like that happens, they have to stick by you. You know what I mean? As opposed to finding someone that has to like stick by you, which is like she stuck by you, which again shows the point. She stuck by me, yeah. When I needed it the most, That's she came out of nowhere. Crazy because she's busy, she's working. And the fact that she like went up and like took care of you and stuff. And I don't even I do make a lot it. of time for you. I did vlog it. Oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to hold you there. I did yeah, vlog it. Yeah, the fuck? Oh, okay, well, I mean, love that. But that was the first time that I really, like, really, I've always felt for you, but that was like a new, like, a, that surgery was just crazy to see, obviously. Yeah. Like, sur- everything you went through, I was like, really are, are nuts, beside like, myself. But, and you, like, the way you just react almost makes it, like, scarier. Like, you react like such a man. You're like, oh, okay, I just got surgery, but I want to go for a run. And I'm like, you're literally gushing blood out of your eye right now. Like, you know, yeah. that, like, makes yeah. it scarier because it's like, yeah, like, calm down, like, have a rest, let someone take care of you. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Did you uh, have to get changed? 
frappuccino. Like he got a frappuccino. I remember that. That's when. I, that's how I knew you were yeah. down bad. I came up to your room right after your surgery, and I was going to Starbucks, and I was like, "What do you want?" And you were like, "I want a vanilla bean frappuccino." Oh, oh. vanilla bean on top of that. That's not even like. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. You're exposing me. You're exposing Where's me. Jeff? Well, I don't care. We'll First edit all this I'm out. So over this, like men can't uh, drink frappuccinos. Did you see the ick? That girl. It's like I made a TikTok ick about this. Oh yes, that's right. And I saw that, and I was just like, "Why can't a man have a frappuccino?" My new thing is not getting the ick. Although when I saw you dangle your feet from this chair, I had to clench my ass. It's a ridiculously shaped chair. You, no, no, like, like fucking Shaq could sit here and his feet wouldn't touch. Okay, well, for the, the height, yeah. The yeah. Height. Well, it's meant to look petite, to make everyone look petite. Like, I like to look small in it. But now I probably look huge because now we're both in this and I'm no, saying we fit. Like, oh we're literally God. we're doing the opposite of my, <laughs> my goal with these chairs. My new thing, though, seriously, is I'm trying not to get the ick. I'm trying to be more empathetic Do toward men. Do you get the ick towards men? I just like I the ick thing has gone so far societally you know what I mean yeah. like it's like oh my god he did this and I got the ick and it's like I'm also icky I remember I was with you in New York and you <laughs> you were wearing no show socks and I was like really clowning you like like you gave me the ick why are you wearing no show socks and I was then, desperate and then, I, I, they were from the jet blue packet that they give you I had but jet then he blue socks to go to the bathroom oh, and I was like don't go, go don't go to the bathroom I just shit in there and I was like how the fuck Ooh, am I gonna what? come for your no show socks yeah it's thunk when, in there like, too like, it, it, yeah. it, 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 it did, no, I'm kidding. It it didn't. I mean, I did shit, you know. Oh my yeah. gosh, I can't believe we talk about this. I don't even tell Moses I go poop. Like Ugh. that's disgusting. Really? Yeah. If I, like I'm we just go tr- opposite ends. Like don't even tell me you're leaving. Just say you're going out of the to the store or something. Don't tell me you're going Wait, to poop. Really? Yeah. yeah. Does that bother you when I tell you things like that? Uh yeah. <laughs> Back to this baby talk, you know. Yes. So my brother and sister, they have all girls. It's all girls <gasps> in my whole family. So odds are, oh. I will have a boy. But I asked my father about it because I, my his first kid was my sister. So his first kid's a girl, and I was like, did that piss you off? Did that make you like, damn, I wish I had a boy? And he had such a good comeback. He was like, for what? Like to play baseball or do like sports and shit. She's better than you at everything. Cause <laughs> my sister true. is like an elite athlete. Oh, She's wow. a jujitsu purple belt. She'll like choke me out and stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't, not now. Cause I've been, I've been training jujitsu for next Christmas. So when I Actually? get back there, we're going to have a, a all out like fight club at, in my parents' house. You love house. fight club. This is the third time you brought it up today. Well, I'm living it right now. Oh, I am me every day. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Fight when guys club. bring it, that's the biggest red flag. If someone's like favorite movie fight club, I'm like, nope, I, absolutely not. That's not my favorite Wolf movie. It's not oh my, my God. Bigger Wolf Washington's a great movie. Oh, it is a great oh my, movie. What? It's such a red flag to me. Well, it's I like, love why? Margo. What's your, I mean, Barbie, what's your second favorite movie? Barbie's not my favorite movie in the Bullshit. whole world. What is no your favorite way. movie? I actually have no idea. This is such a hard question. I don't really have like a favorite, but I love like musicals and stuff. My favorite movie is uh, Gone Girl, where the girl like kills her husband. A musical. Oh, wait, oh what? God. You've never seen a musical? Um, I don't think I have either. Oh! Oh, you okay, still so used to love. <laughs> Sorry, you went to Hamilton a bunch of times, right? Yeah, I did go to Hamilton a bunch of times. Okay, that yeah, that's okay. every trip we went on in like the vlog squad. I was like, um, can we go see Hamilton in the city? Because it was playing at every city we went to. It was like Chicago, New York, and I was like, yeah, let's go see. What do they do in yeah, Hamilton? See, I need a girlfriend. That, <laughs> what do they know? do in Hamilton? They rap. They it's rap. so cool. It's like hip hop. <laughs> Really? It's like yeah. a hip hop musical. Yeah, I guess. I, I thought it was like colonial shit, like the white curly hair and like presidential oh. shit. But it's them rapping, right? Isn't it like the... Yeah, but it's like cool people doing it. But it's them rapping uh, dressed up as like... As the founding fathers. Whatever, you know. <laughs> you, know you like what you like and you, you know, you're outspoken about it you know good. it's cool it's cool good <laughs> yeah and you guys are good because you don't like musicals you can talk about pooping and it's cute it's no. a vibe honestly i would go see hamilton though you know what i mean i really want to go see it i think we should i would love this to see the a musical with like you ah, so cool. i love taking people to musicals it's like my favorite thing in the whole world it's so good i could wrap the whole thing for you guys right now it's so good the whole thing is rapping by the way there's like no words there's no anything it's just all they just rap the whole time you like Eminem you're listening to Eminem in the I car. like Eminem yeah, Eminem's like, kind of uh, Hamilton well, vibes well no <laughs> me learning about Hamilton eight seconds yeah, ago he is he could totally do the Hamilton vibes yeah no I, well just I don't even know about fucking rap but just rhyming words together you know just have a conversation you know just yeah. just good. talk yeah I'm over <laughs> rap I just realized it you're over rap music as a whole that's Jay-Z all right Oh, you love Jay-Z. That's like the second time you brought him up too. Why do you yeah. love him so much? <laughs> well, look. I've never heard like, I've never been around a guy like this in like ever in my life. Like I've never been around a guy who likes sports or fight club or anything. It's like so weird. Do you hate me still? You're so stereotypical. That's what it is. You are what like. What the fuck? I'm, you're like the Dojo Mojo Ken. <laughs> like you are like that guy. <laughs> what does that even mean? Dojo Mojo Ken. <laughs> Dojo Mojo Casa House Ken. Um, that sounds like a bad I, thing. And everybody's laughing at me in this you room are, right no, now. You're good. No, you are. You are. Like, what type of Ken would Moses be? Um, No, he's not a 
like Ken. He's like he's just one of us. He's one Are of the Ken's barbs. assholes. Um, they're just like accessories to the Barbies. <laughs> So, <laughs> you, yeah. I, okay, I will say, like, you are, you are. He's a Ken. You're, you're stereo, stereotypical. You like sports. What is you that like? like is you that like, like sports. You like fighting. You like Jay Z. I don't like sports. I just like. You don't fighting. like sports. I feel like you like. Yeah, fighting. That's just what I'm saying. Just combat sports. I don't Those watch are the guy men things. play yeah. with balls. What do you want to be? One of the girls? Yeah, I, that's better. I just, I feel like. Can I, I don't understand because I haven't seen the movie. Oh my god, where we can go been? get like lash extensions after this or something if you want. Do you get pedicures? Manicures? Yeah, I get I get pedicures. So you kind of in touch the nails with your feminine. Ha- my hands I can handle. But you just like say so many guy things. It's like crazy. Like it's I don't even know how to relate. Well, it's like I, we're not computing. <laughs> <laughs> not that it's a bad thing, but it's crazy for me to try to understand this. That's why I can't understand that you guys are just friends and not do you, dating. Do you, want me like, to, do you want me to like put on an act? Do you like, want me what to, do you talk about with these? Like on a plane ride, what are you guys talking about? We make fun of people. We just oh roast people Oh my god, that's everywhere. your love language. <laughs> we yeah. do make a lot of fun of people. We just okay. roast the fuck out of everyone. What do yeah. like, couples do? That? And that's we like talk what about. We like enjoy. I guess talking about like our industry and jobs and shit. I'll tell that's you not about my life. Business talk though. We talk about fun stuff. Yeah, what's fun stuff you talk about? That's not. I even last podcast we did together, I explained a UFC beef back and forth, and because there's like this is not helping your case. I know. Like no, please stop. Please. That's like, she could tell, talk to me about like drama. I also drama do like that, UFC, which is that's oh like God. bad about me. Well, no, no, you're definitely that girl. You are a guy's girl for sure. I'm a girl's God, girl. Oh my you're God. both. You're both. I don't want to be a guy's girl. I explained I it to both. her not about the fighting skills at all. I was just explaining about the guy's backgrounds and their beef, the drama in it, because it's like a oh my God. it's like a soap opera, you know. And then you get the fight part at the end of it. But she could appreciate like the back and forth because their story was crazy. This last title fight. One of the guys was like an ex neo Nazi that exposed this other oh guy God. for one time he fucked the yeah, dog. I feel like you would like that's why I like fighting. You know, they like, like the, beef and it's like real life oh beef. Oh my God! No, like that's the and guys shit. beefing is an ick. Like why your men? <laughs> like Dylan Dennis doing his thing on Twitter or whatever he's doing. I'm, I don't even know him. He just comes on my forty page. I'm like, this is so ick right now. Like, what is happening? Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah, I don't know. Is you, it fake? Inter- is it like you, wrestling where it's just like fake? They're just trying to hype it up. I don't know. Did he pull out of the fight? Well, was that what happened last week? He's back in now. This is gonna happen. I think they're. I don't know. Unpopular opinion. Yeah, it's so all he, fake. He was tweeting that he was going to like pull out of it, right? Which well, is that's what crazy. he did with the last fight with KSI. He's saying that he was done with tweeting about Nina and Logan. That's good, and probably. so Logan was like, oh, so you're pulling out of the fight. And he's like, no, I'm just done with this tw- Twitter stuff. Oh, I mean, the fight's it coming up. went on for so long. I'm yeah. just like, what is this? Is, this is, this was like, I don't like this stuff. Like, it's just so weird to me. Well, would you watch the fight when no, it happens? No, never. Why, it would make me not What if you the hate them? Don't you want to see them get humiliated? Absolutely not. I just want to see nothing. I just block them. I just whatever. I just like <laughs> don't want to see anything. It makes me like them less. Like, I actually liked Logan. I was like going on like a Logan like kick for a minute when he was doing the wrestling and seeing him flipping off stuff. I'm like, wow, look at him. He's doing so good. Yeah. And then this just kind of gave me that call over again. I'm just like, this is so like him doing the AI with the voice. I'm just like, this is like fake drama and it's like weird. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it has to be a little hyped up for the fight, right? Like sometimes I do get mad at myself that I like it so much and I'm entertained by it. You know, like yeah. I'm like, I need to fucking get different hobbies. You I know? genuinely, I like, I see why you're entertained by it. I like it. I feel like we go back and forth a lot too. Like I'll teach him some pop culture shit. He'll teach me some like, we like to learn from each other kind of. That's a relationship. <laughs> that is a relationship. Seriously, if you, like l- learning stuff from each other is like crazy. It's so cool, you know. It's a, it's a friendship. It's a friendship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're just it's intimate. It's cool so having intimate. a friend of the opposite sex. You know. I, yeah. I don't. I would never. I could never. Like I I'm actually her, do uh, like you know, that though, because like girls are so. I love all my girlfriends, and all my all my friends are girls and gays. Literally, yeah. Jeff is like one of my only like Jeff and like Chris are my straight friends, pretty much. You know, and like. Mm-hmm. They're very different as well. Chris is like all Chris, music. Chris you had romantic with. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So you're the only one that's like platonic. Yeah. Let's like see if we can find like something you guys have in common. How fun would that be? <laughs> like a, a common interest. I don't even think it's bad if we're polar opposites. Like, look, I'm her biggest fan and supporter. I'm so proud of her. I love seeing her go on tour and do her shows. Like, you know, it's I don't need to have the same hobbies and stuff as her just to be friends with her, you know? Yeah. Have you been to her shows? Yeah. This this tour? Yeah, she had me come out for a couple of them. We did like... Oh my God. Yeah, That's a real friend. Can I say not to go back with this because we're talking about that era of the group, the Vlog Squad group? No, we're going to get into that. We're going to trash all of them. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> not one of them came to my tour when I was on tour in 2018. That's yeah. crazy. Not even the guy I was dating. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, how are no you not No way, for real? Not to one... And I sold out every show because I was in that group. And so everyone was like, Dave, it's going to come to Chicago. And he came to like everyone's show and like no one. That's <laughs> no crazy. One that is mind. actually crazy. And they went to everybody's shitty little thing. Every Scotty Shire's shitty show at the amphitheater. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? And you're not going to come to mine and actually like sold out. I was like, that's crazy. That is crazy. Isn't it? Scott sold out some shows back then. Look, I'm not sticking up for anybody. But out of all them, if one is still nice to me, I would put 
He Scott defended David, and I'm just like, you're trash. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you can love someone and not defend them because there's But also, you could also relate to the, when you were drinking the Kool-Aid, too. You were drinking only for a tiny little bit. You took a tiny little sip, and then you but were like, you know what? David. <laughs> I'm out of here. You spit it all out, and then you... Fucking... Yeah, that's true. We're maybe waiting for that to happen still. Yeah, you did... You liked them all at one point, right? Um, no, I never really liked David. I really didn't. And that was the truth because we never hung out. Like, he was, like, charming, but I really didn't like him. Like, that's why... It I, is. I, even if you go back to the vlogs, it is funny. Like, you... Like, the shit you would just say to him. Like, I, I, I can attest yeah. as a fan, like, watching. I don't feel like... We were never friends, him. for sure. I was just dating. Like, honestly, hand to God, because I was, like, so old and I was, like, in a different friend group in a different side of YouTube. I did not know them. Like, it was 2017. I guess they were Viners and I had no idea who they were. It was, like, someone, Andrew Russell or something, was like, you should date this guy. I had no idea who he was. I was like no clue and then I didn't know they were in this group or nothing and I didn't realize like how this group was and I was like oh my god so I thought it was just like friends or like hanging out and then I was just like oh they, they're like weird yeah but aren't you happy that uh David told Jason not to hang out with you anymore oh my god could you imagine oh, like any yes like could god. you imagine if like I yeah yeah. yeah that was yeah. the most depressing time of my life actually like it really was like I thought I was like so like in love and it was actually like so depressing and I was just constantly being told like you're eating too much like how can you eat that fast food like you're so disgusting and I'm just like and I'm like he loves me <laughs> it's so stupid damn Crazy. like there's yeah. so many compilations of him just being like put the nuggets down how can you eat that much aren't you gonna I've get seen sick? them all <laughs> six <laughs> times like, Jesus Christ you're like we're in love <laughs> and it's like that's crazy that's no just... like they actually hated me which is actually insane it's weird how people get like these characters and then it becomes like a joke that we even like they would even like do oh, was it off camera or was I always, it just... yeah, off camera and I always say like can you not make comments about my weight like I'm like I was like smaller back then I'm like I'm so sensitive about it and, I also like, just think like if you date someone and you start dating someone you started dating them because you like them for who they are like I don't think people should ever try to date people and, and then change them and yeah. start putting like you know what I mean I don't know no it was definitely yeah it was weird it was it was really weird too when they remember the one friend was dating like a 17 year old he was like 24 and I said something and they all acted like I was the crazy one they're all like oh my god why yeah I remember because I was still talking to this guy that that guy at the time the guy I was dating and he was just like don't say this like apologize to him I'm like he literally is bringing like a 17 year old to your birthday party like this is disgusting like what is your problem and they all acted like I was the crazy one I was like you're gross I feel for you there like getting banished and and everybody has to make you out to be the crazy one yeah so I'm happy that we're the only ones that still have careers and everyone else exactly. fell off but us you know? and here we are mm -hmm. it's so great honestly like it is so great well time I think time always heals things whenever people are in a shitty situation like like time even even now I still think time hasn't exposed everything about David and Natalie oh yeah you know what I mean mm, you know and and, and Natalie yeah. oh big time yeah it, it'll all come out and sometimes it takes like you said years and I think like and it's not that I wish it it's just more about <laughs> being held like taking responsibility because no one has no one has ever said like I'm sorry this was messed up like nothing you know yeah and that's what bothers me the most it's like like you're saying how she takes accountability for everything and like something so small like just like this wine tour thing or whatever but it's like how can you not you hurt somebody how can you not take accountability that's, like, whenever I, I like talk about the David situation if someone like asked me about my opinion on the thing I'm like it's so crazy that he's never once just said I'm sorry to you like and I'm sorry well, it's, it's an admission so of guilt you is know? that what it is? Like, you think because he doesn't want to get sued? Well, he is getting sued. Well, then he blamed it on me, and that's why he's getting sued, because he tried to, like, put the shit on me. Not, It's not bad enough that I got to live with the, the, you know, effects of what happened, yeah. your stupidity. Yep. And now I got it. Now you want to put that shit on me, too. But we talked a lot about it on, on your show. Yeah. We unpacked a lot. And right now in this episode i kind of just want to trash the bad people okay, you know that go. deserve it <laughs> i love so. doing this on yours because i'm drama free on mine we're drama we free on here that's, well it's like, only this bad is the people. definition of me like the people like tana inserts herself into everything like what like what the, uh, why am i here well no because you're involved and you're my you're my partner Yay. you're a good alibi because you are very like honest and you're also very like you were cool with everybody like you were cool so the fact that you picked jess side was not even picked but just like su supported him is like so telling because you were so cool with them like you were so cool and you like rode so hard for like David too so I think it's like telling that you're like I'm gonna support this guy I think it's also just like a time where it's like I was riding for people who wouldn't ride for me and I'm finally in a place of my life where I feel like I ride for him as equally as he would ride for me like all the, all the yeah. people around me that I love and if you, you know, broke up like, with somebody and I seen him at Starbucks I'm not saying what's up to them. <laughs> I'm leaving You're all my sandwiches away. and muffins. <laughs> You're making your assistant pick it up for Yeah, you. <laughs> fuck this. No. It is cake pops. All right, real quick. Today's episode is sponsored by Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. We are the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. It's just you against the numbers. Instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks, you pick more or less than two to six players stat 
projections and watch the winnings roll in. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. You just select two or more players, pick more or less than the projected stats, and place your entry. Listen. Prize Picks has quick withdrawals. They don't tie your money up in there like the other websites will try to do. They got easy gameplay and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Also, with Prize Picks reboot policy, your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For NFL games and CFB top 25 matchups, if you have a player who exists in the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with injury insurance which is perfect for me because with my luck all my players get hurt and then I just lose every single time because that's just how my life's been going right now and so prize picks is the best only like I said only ones that are doing that injury insurance go to prizepicks.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars that's prizepicks.com slash Jeff and use code Jeff for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars or go down to the link in the description and click the link we got it down there thank you prize picks for sponsoring this episode we love you back on with the show this is what we're going to do. We set up a tier list and we have all the members of our old squad. I don't like to talk about them much, especially because none of them are really doing anything anymore. Nothing. Nobody really knows them if I say their names. So go names? Well, we could put their pictures up and like show like, oh, maybe people would be like, oh, I remember that guy from that one stunt or something. Like <laughs> yeah. the one. I play this game with my friends all the time. Oh my God, we're going to do a tier list. About... Who's the best and the worst of our old friends? What, what's better okay. than that? Of, okay. of that particular uh, group or just people in general? Because you were friends with every single YouTuber in the I'll world. I'll do it with you guys, I guess. But I was yeah. going to say, uh, I yes, you're here. Yeah, you're the middle but of it. <laughs> it could also be good. And I want to use this to clear a lot of stuff up because oh. some of them didn't wrong me. Some of them were behind the scenes being very nice. And like, I, you know, I do appreciate their support. So I okay. want to make sure I put mm. them up there, you know, that yeah, are still but good. but behind the scenes doesn't count. But. I'm actually excited well, that's for why this. it's a tier list. You Look know, at like, Tana over you here. She's not behind the scenes. I'm right, actually like, excited as fuck for this Is Tana game. on the list? Because no. she goes top tier. Oh, did you have this planned out? You are so well, good. Jeff, listen, I've He's been doing it over here on the side. I love it. Are you like the head producer? Uh, yeah. Are you yeah. in the? You're not in the bathtub, are you? Yeah, yeah I am in the bathtub. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, yeah. oh, well, not yeah, anymore. You know. I did oh, a deep dive. Yeah. You were out of the bathroom. He probably flooded that shit himself, so he oh, get out of the fucking bathtub. Shit. I've been in the bathtub for two years. That's Actually, crazy. Why? He never complained about the bathroom what? once. How old are you? Twenty three. Oh my gosh, you're what? putting your twenty three year old employee in the bit. bathtub. It's a bit. And it's <laughs> like they only have to do it for the show. Oh my and God. honestly, who know? How do you know if it's that's not like a green screen CGI setup? I know it's not. I I was like, this is a strange setup. No judgment, but. I mean, great setup, but also strange for him. Yeah. Sorry. Right, yeah. I mean, look, look, Moses is in a folding chair. A uh, but a bougie no, one. We're in construction. Uh, yeah, we're in construction. <laughs> in our movie uh, theater room, by the way. You know, if there's water in it. <laughs> literally in a tub. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna come back and Moses is gonna be the, the throne. And everything. <laughs> yeah. This was a movie theater, okay? We're sitting in a movie theater room. Uh, yeah, so look, just I told calm you your down. house is fucking phenomenal. It's your you. pink Rolls Royce outside is gangster. That color is dope. Thanks, too. thank you. I it's not like this pink. It's like it's a different pink. It's a passion pink. It's a Rolls Royce pink. It came straight from the oh, um, yeah, it's factory? manufacturer. Yeah, factory. Wow. There it is. Bro knows. I wow. can't think of what it is. I'm not really a big car guy, but I just think it's dope. You knew factory. I didn't know. I knew it was something. I was like, it's factory. Well, that's just like something. where shit's made in a factory. <laughs> I'm like, it's the original color. I know that. So can we show a person? And I want to add my twist to the game. Well, we're can, all going to give our input. Can yeah. you say a material item that you would let them die for? Um, Do you what? get what I'm saying? Like, I would let Todd Smith die for a crocodile Birkin. Oh, like what you would switch him for. Maybe yeah. if they die Damn, anymore, you keep that's, getting canceled. That's, <laughs> women are fucking wild. Maybe say, like, huh? I play this game all the time with my friends. For a Birkin. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean. His life is worth less than a, a Birkin bag. Yeah, what is that? Oh, no, Birkins honestly, are expensive. I would let Those him are die expensive. For like a good haircut. Oh my god, like let's a say switch. Haircut. I think you're gonna get canceled for saying die. Maybe just say like we'll switch him for a Birkin. <laughs> <laughs> switch him. <laughs> Send him to an island for well, a Birkin. It's not real. Like, it, well, there's know, a bunch of gonna people. Gonna We're gonna long... give our input on a lot of them, and you know, I think we could start with who's the worst, and that's obvious. David. Yeah. Wow. So we have a tier going from S to F, S being. Best F being dead. Wait, why S F? F is a failure. S tier is the top tier. Oh, that's really? Like, that's is that like real? factory pink Rolls Royce shit. Okay. You know, <laughs> this looks so complicated. So where would we want to put? I mean, I'm gonna go the down way. to the worst category. Yeah, there's below gonna... them. If we could put them under the prison, put them yeah. in there. But yeah, since there isn't one. F. Right. Where do you put them? I'm trying to think what I'd trade them for. Different, just to be. A little anyone... bit... Oh right, you're you're in the trade up. <laughs> just give us a category. <laughs> 
<laughs> Travis Scott, like new dunks. Okay. So Wait, so like if it's low that? value, he's low value? No, those are like good shoes. Oh. Like, but I would let him just <laughs> for that. Oh my God. You gotta stop saying, just pick a <laughs> fucking know. category because we can't go back and edit all this out. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, who is that? Keith Hassar. Uh, no. <gasps> what happened? I actually love is he him. Okay? He looks For real? good. He looks like a nice oh guy. Life. I wouldn't put him down there. I would go B. Can we just talk about the fact that him and Mariah keep attending like a hundred weddings and he's just like not proposing? What's going on there? What do you think oh. that is? You think that's just they're holding on because they, they want to keep okay. the vlog squad looking good? Well, they talk they're about that she's, she's saying celibate or she's saying she's saying yourself to marriage, right? That's what? what yeah, I think she's talked about that. She doesn't have sex with anyone. So that's what they talk about. Yeah, she's she's I a, did not know that. I thought she'd throw it back. She's like a little dancer. I For thought sure. She like, yeah. Well, she's religious. She comes from a good family and she, you know, she, that's what she wants to do. So my question is, a lot of people would be like, like Ben Shapiro put a ring on it within like three months because he wanted to hit it. You know what I mean? So it's like, why wouldn't you do it even quicker? You know, you're just like, OK, let's do it. And oh, now it's okay. been so long. So it's like questions. I'm like, hmm, why aren't you trying to like, you know? Wow, that's a good point. It's fine. I mean, whatever. Whatever you are is fine. I'm not trying to like, I, I don't know anything. I don't want to I want to throw but. Mariah S tier for that. You know, let's put her uh, up top yeah, because Mariah what the, she needs phone. to be in there. She's always been nice. Yeah, yeah. I, and I want to be clear <laughs> on that. She had her mom and went and visited my mom in Staten Island because Mariah is also from Staten Island. That's that shit. I don't forget, you know, because my yeah. mom went through it like worse than I did. You know, she has to worry about her son and like, oh, we're fucking all this stuff's happening. So that meant a lot. Her mom going to see my mom. That's yeah. big, you know. Mariah, Mariah was always really nice too. I have no yeah, she's bad so nice. things to say about her. Give us somebody bad, you know. Ooh. Who's that? that? Oh Nobody, my God. Just, Joe? Is he the editor? Yeah. Oh, we're give us po- characters though. Not, he's not really a character. Yeah, oh, no we'll one knows that. that person, right? Yeah. He was always just in the back. Talk about being treated like shit. Like he was always like the shit one in the thing. They yeah. never put him in anything. Everyone used him for editing, and then they like would never like want to clap with him and always talk bad about him behind his back. And I'm just like, why? I is would this put him still in here? my videos. He would always be down to get a crazy haircut. I would always put him in my videos. I'd put him up there, and he was oh. nice after. Um, he tried to help me out. Brandon. Oh my god. Jump scare. <laughs> oh damn. This is the this is this is not even a legend. This was the 17 year old in the vlog. So this is no alleged. This is the truth. Everyone just swept under the rug. He's a big F. He might be lower than David because as far as I know, David didn't date any minors. So I'm gonna go underneath. I know he likes some young and petite, like super weird. How they like, I'm just right? here. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know any team? Yeah, Did he, he ever doesn't... come after you? Oh no. no. He didn't like girls though, right? Like I mean, he didn't like any of the girls that he was around. Are you being? Are you being? <laughs> oh, uh, um... Did he? Because like Riley, all these girls were like you know like throw themselves not throw themselves but like flirt with him. Madison Beer, he like didn't like any of them. Yeah. When we saw Liza in New York, what did she? Didn't she say something? She was like, um, or you were like, I haven't had sex in a while I'm sober or something. She was like, I haven't had sex in four years or some shit. She said something funny. She just has fucking. You Liza's know. so good. Yeah. You should have her on the podcast. I just want to date her you know? <laughs> oh my gosh she's yeah she's gorge i mean I, i'm upset with her too <laughs> yeah she's perfect oh that's your buddy he was never nice to me <laughs> oh was he really or just not nice just like i don't know i just don't feel like he has ever liked me yeah same like i, I would say that. out of I love everyone this. i like love out of that they're all getting the smoke list. right now <laughs> this is judgment day this you deserve this <laughs> I all of you brandon was so nice to me but the opposite, which i don't know what you said he was you were yeah. <laughs> I've held my tongue all this fucking time. I let everybody else slide. This but you know so what? I love this shit. I've always loved no. 50 Cent when he's posting memes about everybody. You know, like... Jay-Z? Like, well, when, like, rap beef. That's my yeah. favorite part of... I so like, you'd like Hamilton. <laughs> There's common ground. Well, are they beefing yeah. with each other? Oh, my God. One gets shot at the end. One shoots the other. They do a duel. Oh, yeah? They do the 10 duel. They count to 10. Actually, New Jersey, he died. And they do a 10 thing where they got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you have to turn around. Whoever shoots first is the winner. So, like, oh, whoever uh, dies. A yeah. draw. Yeah, that's what it was. It was like the ten dual commandments. Yeah, it's so good. It's so you have to watch it. You might actually really like it. Let's go to Hamilton. I wish it was here. We need to. New York. Us four, New we York have Canada. to. Yes. Is it? So oh, I'm York. putting him at the very bottom. I literally think he want, hopes I die. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, I think he's just like really awkward and doesn't like people. Or I think he's in a bad spot right now. Um, but I guess oh, I respect God. the honesty. I used to work for him. You used, to work, you? you used to work for him? He's got trauma from him. What? What yeah. did you do? Everything. Should we get a camera on you? We should put another camera on you, like a phone. Do people usually see him? Um, yeah. I feel like put a picture up of me doing this. <laughs> no, people hate that with Moses too. He'll talk and they can't see him, and they're like, "Put a camera." Here, up. Well, I mean, I'm just have- gonna get like I ten seconds to like. Because <laughs> you look cool. Kyle's my favorite. Kyle, say some stuff that you that you've said so far. Um, 
<laughs> what did I say? What did you do for Nick just Antonian? Be like, oh, just yeah. be like, here's the list. Yeah, I, I did everything for him. I, as far as content wise, for like TikTok, what? YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. Oh Give us like a good stuff and say death to all of them. I feel bad. I feel like, <laughs> sorry, I feel like, I feel like we're kidding. forcing you to like do this shit. We're having fun over no, here. No, no, I'm, having yours. Fun. I'm having fun. I didn't enjoy it. I'm having my fun. <laughs> and I actually gave him that nice haircut too, so I'm proud of that. You yeah. gave that haircut? does look good. Yeah. So cool. So you actually do haircuts. Yeah, what the fuck? Did you bring your scissors? Can I just you told you my whole story on your podcast, how I started at 15. I moved to Miami to work in a barber shop. But I didn't think you were like good at it. You thought I was faking it the whole time? <laughs> well, I thought you just kind of like hacked it and someone else came I and just, it. I just somehow that would be finessed me. my way into like, I've cut yeah. like so many actual celebrities. Like, I, I it feels weird saying that now, but like. Yeah, it was I, it was my passion. It still yeah. is. I still love hair. God, can you we... trim my bush into a star today? <gasps> Why do you got to make it like that? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just <laughs> bored. I'm just you like, you know, no, I would have put the team. It, that's a new thing that women are, are doing, <laughs> yeah. it, right? That's Bushes. in style again. Oh, I can't do a bush because I have such a big fupa. I'd be like the hairiest bush. <laughs> 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 oh, my. Speaking of fupa, oh, my God. They like you know, showed me his and I didn't oh, want to see it. Yeah, yeah. The flashing of it. I was just like, what? what is your problem? Like, that's what I'm saying. These people are effed up. Like, why? Lower. They would make people look at it. I know. The weird thing was he didn't like to show it. And he oh was like, Oh my God. What is wrong know? with people? That oh, was, really? yeah. He was always like, No, I don't want to. And he had to work up to it. It's he would take so like an mean. Hour. And then it's like, Yeah, everyone's reaction is going to be like, ew, ew, you know, but it's like so mean. Like, why would you do that to him? Below or above Vulpus? He would have been with Vulpus, but since he fucking chose a side against me and, and you know. <gasps> he didn't even have your back pup, like privately? Nah, he didn't want me to make the documentary. He was like, that's going to make David look bad. But David was a part of it. Well, I let him edit it and oh. literally to have, he had me change lines in it, you know? Oh, I got a funny up. fucking like a video because, you know, all my, my people around me that are not like creators and like influencers whatever they're just watching this shit happen so they were like yo this is crazy i just got out of surgery my eyes bleeding stitched up and they're coming over to edit and they're like i was asleep and they're like calling my crew and they're like so what's going on like with jeff we need to see the edit and they're like he just got out of surgery he's like asleep and like can we come by and like do the edit so i had to like get up and go sit in the chair and i'm just sitting there with my eye bleeding and they're david and natalie are at the computer (gasps) and it's just like fucking yo what yeah and that's like so, so scary so i had some people around that were like this is so bad i don't know how jeff doesn't see it as the, that it's this bad right now so he took videos of it and there's just like these creepy videos of us sitting next to each other editing it did you put that that was not in the documentary no nah, i might recut the doc because the jeff version the jeff cut the real shit yeah jeff's version you're like taylor swift jeff's version yes i'm still subscribed to your patreon i'm like god i need to cancel that every month it's like thirty dollars. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's so Expensive. Everyone you know what? Like, I subscribe to so many of my friends, oh my too. Gosh, Jeff, that was the real, that it was actually her then this whole time. Oh, yeah. I've been subscribed. It was like a, oh, oh, you, you were the rat in our Patreon? Because we had, we no, had, well, I, mean, I was just not there. The, not the rat. T-W. No, rat. But, I was my name. Trisha Paytas, like a subscription name in the Patreon. Oh, you could see it? Well, How embarrassing. No, but we thought it was like a fake <laughs> No, because somebody, I you that, so was, many. that was, because we have like a, at the time, like when the video was going around. I had like my core like supporters and we had them all in like a Twitter group chat. I named it the cyber cult because anytime that video would surface, yeah. you know how like when you guys have your exclusive content, you could get it taken down because it's copyright, yes, right? So yes. you have a team behind you. Mm-hmm. We didn't have any of that. So now this video that's haunting me is going around the internet. Well, like I had no way to get them taken down. You could hit like report for, you know, the fucking gore and shit like yeah. that or whatever, but it would take so long to get taken down, but we would just send them into that chat. Any like, there's like maybe a hundred people in that chat, the cyber cult chat. So they would all send the videos in and everybody in the chat would hit it with like report and they would actually wow. take them down. And I was like, fucking Trish is telling everybody about this video. Fuck. Wait, fuck, fuck. Well, oh no, no, no. Yeah. It was on the, it was on the Tumblr page. Like there was like a vlog. Spot no, on I know. Page. I yeah. know. But again, I'm not like, that sophisticated. Trust me. I'm just, I signed up with my own name. So, but, then, but, <laughs> but since we had so much beef at the time and it was like clear that you were like my public enemy, number one, <laughs> somebody made a uh, Trisha Paytas like, like chat in the thing and they were like hey i'm watching you like they were just oh fucking up. so we didn't know if it was actually well obviously there was like a like a dupe account and then probably yours yeah i never interacted I no just the, yeah it wasn't you it wasn't her for sure oh, okay. oh my god i'm not but, that much of a loser <laughs> yeah. she's like no, watching you i'm just like that'd just be curious. nuts if she was in there i'm still watching like, <laughs> oh my god i was definitely not that upset then you were never public enemy to me i was just like oh like, you're just the only one that's like vocal with me so i was like all right let's go you know but, i was i was the only one that would uh hit the ball back like yeah. whenever, whenever there's like a beef 
uh, Mike gives me this analogy a lot because he's always in beefs with people. He's like, it's like a tennis match. If you hit the ball to them, they have to hit it back for you to still keep Is playing. Is Mike May like in beefs with people? Yeah. People, I've never people seen him are in always going he's after so nice. He's a beef from like that guy, like um, fucking Sneeko. Do you know him? No. He's like Andrew Tate, like wannabe. Um, who else is there that he he's beefs, beefs with? with? I feel like Dylan so nice. Dennis because he gets all the smoke that like goes at like Logan. Logan. I mean, like Logan seems nice. I don't know. I actually don't know any of them, but they seem nice. Yeah. What do you think about um, Nina, his fiance? I don't know her, but like, I mean, she seems great. Yeah. She seems pretty. I actually think like when Dylan Dennis was doing all those tweets, I was like, honestly, it's kind of like a flex for her. I was like, kind wow, look at you it, with all yeah, those guys. Like he's just a lot of the posts were just her modeling, like looking very that, or also nice. Also, like with Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm like, what a flex. Why is this an insult? I'm like, if she, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, yeah. That, that is a flex. Some that is more of a flex. Yeah, you know? that, to me, it was so weird. He's like, look at her with this guy and this guy and LeBron James. I'm like, no one gets a picture of LeBron James. Like, that's such a flex. I don't know. I don't know her, but like, like her and good for Logan. Like, he seems like he always wanted to be in love. He seems cute. He does. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, he does. I Sometimes mean, Sometimes you need like a woman to like, you know, calm you down. Yeah. And she's older than him too. That's what I'm oh, saying. Like, I, like, Wait, how old? Like, what is she, like four years older than him? I think she's like 31 or 30. How old is he? 28. Oh, oh my God. He's not even 30. Wow. Good for him. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's been around for Crazy. so long. Crazy. They're still so fucking young. So young. How old is Jake? 26? I do. I look at me. <laughs> I know you would know. Because you weren't you legally married. You had to see the were birthday. Were legally on married? No, you weren't. Oh, legally married. Oh. You, uh, and you're yeah. too. 25. It's, it is crazy to think of you. Sorry. You want me to edit it out? No. Okay. What, what I just, no, I just. I was just being silly. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be soft okay. spot, you know? <laughs> it's not. Yeah. It's just Aww. everyone no, it's not a soft spot. It's just funny. Like everyone looks to me as like the reference, you know? Yeah. I think of you and I think of like when I think of Jake Paul, I think Tana. Like that's what I think. You know what I mean? I think of you and I think of a ton of different things. I think that's but... how the girls and the gays feel. For you sure, him, yeah. You put him on. You started no, with his no. boxing career. I think Logan did that. Corinna Cop. I'd rather talk about Jake Paul shit. I always really liked her. I don't think she liked me. I always really liked her. But yeah, she she didn't like me. But I liked her. I, I mean, because she's pretty. <laughs> I get pretty girl passes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't like I thought you guys were friends. We were. Oh. Yeah. Falling out. I got nothing wrong with her, but I think she just forgets that she would probably be dead if it continued to yeah. go the way that David had it go on that day, you know? Who stopped it? Who stopped hers? Well, she said, like, David, you take things too far. Like, it, like fuck you or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then he was like, "Oh, Jeff, Jeff, come on, just oh. one shot, so we get the cinematic shot. It looks so, it looks so sick." And then fucking hundred miles an hour. Oh my god! And then she bought him a Ferrari recently. I, I was know. Like, Girl, what? So yeah, <laughs> then she gets dropped down to sea with Jonah. She could live down with Jonah down there. I would have put her in an ass, but I don't know her like that. I just think she's pretty, and she was relatively nice to me. She's been nice to me too, so I can't. I don't know. Maybe you could bump her up one. I don't really. But if she's an F for you, we'll put her in the F category then. We ride together. She's my bro. <laughs> Did I put her F? No, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think I put her F, right? Oh. She's a businesswoman. I we get it. Lower you know, then. I get it. I get it. She's a businesswoman. So I can't, I can't hate. She slams. Aww. She's in her back. She slays. Oh, I love damn. it. He's my favorite. Yeah, well, that's he's a my child, boy. So Top. yes, he's that's going true. up. He's going up to that. He's he looks nothing like that now. He's, he's it's so funny. Adult. He's so funny because it's like. Like just the way that that group was, I even watched it change him. Like when I met him, he was like, obviously again he's a kid, but when I the, he was a little kid and he was all sweet, and then like towards the end, as I was kind of exiting out of that, he's like, I'm fucking famous. Like, oh really? Yeah. It was no, funny. but he was always deep down inside. He's such a sweet kid. Like he would make that cameo money for his family. He would always talk about his family. Oh. Like it's just so rare to see that and like yeah. somebody. Oh, down there where she could go. She's below David. In, back in prison with David. That's she's, where she's, yeah, end up. she's down, 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 down. The stuff about her is insane, like insane. Like people are always like, "Why do you hate Natalie?" I'm like, "Oh my god, her stuff is with me too." Stuff I found out after I was like, "Wait, oh my god, she's not a real person." When I when I voiced my opinion on, you know, I think it was fucked up that a girl was a, 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 assaulted by this scumbag. Yeah, I think that was wrong, and I think it's fucked up that I didn't know that. She calls me, "Oh, David's not going to like that." Hey, are you a real person? No, she's not. Did she say that you, that you got on the crane because you had a crush on her and you wanted yeah, to impress her? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, she said that in the documentary <laughs> in Casey's thing. Like, I, yeah, I saw Casey's doc. Like, uh, you know, did you watch it? No, because Casey uh, made like a doc on the whole thing, but it was mostly on the assault and like all that stuff and, mm. and the way I was in it like I love David you were? <laughs> no like it was so thank long God you were like that. oh my thank gosh God. well you were also young it was like I just met with Casey in New York we went for a nice run together and we like talked about oh, everything oh you're cool with him? yeah 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 I'm cool with Casey he made he 
tried as much as he could to make a real <laughs> piece and tell the story truthfully. Yeah. And that's why David was like, oh, you made a hit piece on me. Like, well, the fucker just told the truth, you know, I need a hit piece. Oh, like, he still sugarcoated it. He, Casey, like, made it as, like, sugarcoated as he could. And but Casey then, like, the look. Since 2018 or 2017. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. It was, I was, like, in there still when he was around and he always ignored me, too. That's what I'm saying. When people, like, ignore you and, like, talking to every single other person in the room besides you, like, that's just rude. That's, like, common courtesy. That's why I never liked him either. Never once. Never even gave me a handshake. Never an eye. Nothing. And he would talk to every single person. No, he was like expected. He's just misogynistic, I think, unless he like he like you know needs something from a girl. But I don't think he likes girls in general. Well, just me. And it's like I don't care what people say. It's not like oh my god, bitter. Maybe he didn't want to say hi to you, whatever. It's just like no, like it's a polite thing to do if you're sitting at a table with everybody. You say hi to everyone but me. It's rude. Yeah, you know what I mean. Every no. And the fact that you wanted to make a documentary of our David instantly lost all credibility. I was like, weren't you this cool guy who made like really dope shit and you're like this intellectual and you're like let me make a vlog or like a documentary about David and his group of friends. Like, well, it was really well edited, Casey's doc. Like, I mean, you know, he's he's a filmmaker and he thought he had something there like i i tried to make a a documentary yours was better. you gotta work what you got. his, but. well thank you <laughs> um i, I want I, yours i wish mine I paid told, for yours. told the truth a little better well i couldn't post it on youtube why because they, they oh. were just they just kept age restricting it and i wanted people to be able to watch it it know? was it was a lot it's intense what are we talking about who are we rating casey no casey no. i think nobody really gives a fuck about david anymore and like kind of, they kind of got the story you know like yeah. they know it and i made the doc already so i feel like I should have probably waited a little longer and told it like the right way. Yeah. But thank God he made that because he's the one who told me, he's like, yo, Jeff, I need to show you this clip. Like, I know you're going about this as, as like, you know, he's your boy and you want to stick up for him. But like, you know, this is how he feels about the situation. And he FaceTimed me. And I, I remember I was in Tampa at like the oh, Jake yeah. Paul fight. Wow. He showed me the clip. He FaceTimed me, he shows me the clip. And he's like, so how do you feel about um, the girl? Like, and he's just like, she just did it for like attention, you know, mm. first of all, she's anonymous. She never even put her name in it. Yeah. And then he's the like, how do you feel about the Jeff thing? And he's like, yeah, Jeff's just crazy. You know, he's always want to do wild shit. And I oh was like, oh, God. that's how you feel. All right. Yeah. At the end of the day, you think that shit's like over. It's, it's, and thank God it was not too late. Like two years is a statute of limitation. If wow. I wanted to take any action, I got it in a week before. No way. That's a crazy. A week before. What cra- that I remember is... being stressed with like talking to my lawyers, like, are we going to get it in? Are we going to get it in? And then it got filed and everybody ran with that number. They made up the number. That's TMZ. I didn't tell TMZ nothing. They just have the somebody at the courts. dollar lawsuit. Yeah. Yeah. I Wait, don't yeah, know. Really? I don't know the number yet. Cause I, I don't like know. I ran with that. I was like, yeah, I'm 10 million. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> I think girls saw it as like, I'm uh, like, I have $10 million now too. Cause they started acting differently. I like right like, after to I me think, too. Yeah. Like, I think I liked you a little more for a couple of months. I was like, that's yeah. so hot. Like that number was attached to my name, but it was completely <laughs> fake. And that's like what we're going through now. Cause we need to find out like. 10 what, million dollars would not be enough for like your trauma to your face like it's a lot thanks yeah but it's like you can't you see. have to prove yeah and you like i have doctors saying yeah your eyes are real fucked up but you never know what's gonna come in 10 years you know yeah I, like when you have a detached retina you're prone to cataracts and that mm-hmm. could come in the next 10 years like, imagine i get a fucking like you know no it's shit's fucked up if i blow my nose it moves ooh, ooh, Don't do you that. Know? Yeah. so like i feel this shit all the time yeah you know? yeah yeah but really, yeah, we got to come up with that. And that's what the courts are for and everything. But yeah, that number, people just fucking throw it out there. And it's little. Little. I have like a little. list of like, should I wanted when you won? Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to get? Me too. I was thinking of stuff too. Yeah. Honestly, you nothing. 10 million would, in like a year on OnlyFans. Nothing would change in my life. I honestly would just put it aside for that day when something, you know, that's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the wooden chair. Yeah. That's Sheet metal. Rock. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some wood oh, in there or something. Bunny. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to reach but, up yeah, there. Then, like, I would uh, would like to, you know, if some shit happened, then at least, all right, at least there's this money here, you yeah. know? Yeah. But I wouldn't let it change anything in my life. I wouldn't, nobody would even notice. Yeah, you'd just be, like, casual about it. Well, yeah. More just, like, getting it out there, the truth. And like you said, having it in court, because, like, we always say, like, the drama is, like, the drama, but, like, in court is, like, actual legal criminal things and happen. it's so obvious you're not doing it for the money. Like, I, people probably don't, like, know how minimalistic you are, but no. how, like, you're such a minimalistic person, you wouldn't care at all. I'm petty, though. I yeah. want the truth, you know? And when I saw that clip, I was like, oh, this is how you really feel. I sensed it. I sensed it from day one that that's how he felt, but I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. And like, no, this is my boy. Like, he's not going to be this fucking narcissistic and crazy. Oh We're going to bump Casey up for that. Good job, Casey. Like, can you imagine? He was like on David's side and he's no, like- No, Casey's S tier in my book. I'm doing the New okay. York Marathon with him next month. I, I know he didn't say hi to you at that table that one time, <laughs> but yeah, you know, with me a lot I'm going to talk to him about that. He's- <laughs> He's my boy. Casey's up in the S. I, like between you and I know. <laughs> Poor 
<laughs> poor Alex. <laughs> poor Al- Alex, may guess. He's top. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's also no- God tier. Yeah. <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah, he's li- kind of hot. Literally. Like, I was just looking at that photo and I was like, whoa. Yeah. He was nice. He was always so nice. <laughs> he wanted nothing to do with the situation. My, you know, like our beef. You know, like we stayed friends after. We yeah. still talk, you know. I think in general, he didn't want anything to do with like the vlogs. Like he's just like a yeah, morally he started, different he started person. backing out. Yeah. yeah. So S tier? Yeah, either one. He's S tier for S-tier. sure. I put a lot of people on S tier. Which Surprisingly, is, look at uh, that. We're not bashing anyone. Yeah. Who else do I like? Uh, Mike Sheffer, I would put S tier. Who is Mike Sheffer? Can I say a picture of him? <laughs> it's yeah. so, it's so, I've such a funny response. I've literally never even heard that name. Like Matt King, I know kind of, but like Mike Sheffer. Yeah, Matt. Matt saying that. Oh, have me back on Jeff FM. I was like, all right. What's he? But he hasn't been on. He's not coming on. Uh, uh, he's in that group. I don't group. even want him on. No offense, Matt King. Love you. <laughs> But yeah, I, just, just, I like, just appreciate that people aren't just like so... Sc- mm-hmm. Look at the top left photo. Like, I feel like... He looks of- like Joe. Uh, it's Joe. I like Mike Sheffer. Mike Sheffer, is he Jewish? Yeah, yeah big that. time. The biggest... Oh my God. Shana Tova. Uh, is there anybody <laughs> else that we want to talk about that could get, yeah, get these two going? I want to get them going. No, we're in our them. non-problematic... Well... No, hit them with I'm somebody trying. that'll get them... You, you are non-problematic. I'm trying so hard. Um, Who's your FS FS tier influencer? Tana. Like ever? Yeah, who's your F, 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 F? I'm not kidding. I've been saying it's Colleen because I really don't hate a lot of people like that. Yeah. Um, and that really made Same. me hate her. I like let things go and I forget that I ever disliked people Same. like in, like beef. I can't I let it go. Todd's my, like, yeah. I feel F tier. Like, F. He was always so nasty in group chats about me, like over 4th of July, like when we were like, by, like we were on vacation somewhere and he's just like, Trish is the worst. And then I read it and they're like, wow, Jason's showing her our texts and stuff like that. And I was like, you guys are saying the nasty shit about me. I'm just looking over his shoulder. Like, I damn. just found out some detrimental information about him. Like I could ruin his life. What? Him and Natalie broke up? No. <laughs> but that's just funny. Okay. Don't know who that is either. What's his name again? Oh, he's is, the oh, fitness Ilya? one. He's the fitness guy now. Yeah. He's he a plumber. He stole my idea. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, fitness documentaries. But I don't care. Fitness is fitness. People are going to make documentaries losing weight. It is what it is. But at least stars were Can funny. we do a fitness documentary after I'm done having a baby? I'm trying to get pregnant again, but let me just do another one. Yeah, so I would fun. I would love to do that. I would that. love to do I would do it with you. He, he's, been <laughs> wanting, there he's, go. Skinny. he's been wanting to do it, but yeah, I'm not Imagine that. Imagine how many lives that. we would change and make people like entertained. You and me by... like doing like a healthy like oh my moment God. with Jeff. Because you guys so would be so funny. We get like six packs. <laughs> like drinking like green juice and like. I love it. Celery juice is great. Yes. I've been drinking celery juice. Girl, I used to do so many celery juice fasts and I was so skinny for real. I used to lose so much weight. In 2019, actually, I was like, like so you just tiny. only drink celery juice? Yeah, for like five five days in a row. And I lost like 30 pounds literally in five days for real. I documented it on YouTube. What about just fucking shooting up on Ozempic behind the scenes? Oh, God, know? I know. I would love that. But I also think like, what if you die in five years? Like no one knows. Is it killing effects. people? Yeah, I think so. Really? Mm-hmm. We'll see the vlog squad. We'll see the, the, <laughs> yeah. the truth behind you those. You think they're doing the Ozempic? <laughs> I don't have proof and I don't want to start right. saying things because then they're just going to be like, he's a batshit crazy person defamating us. You know, I would love to, if I knew anything, I would say it, but I have real <laughs> shit that I don't want to jeopardize. You know, no, it was the yeah. Zila fitness all the way. I love her. She's my favorite. Uh, she, I don't even think she likes me. Yeah, but I, she's, I love her. she's got to, she's got to go up there with Varda on. Yeah. I gotta, did she stick up for you? Cause you were like ride or die for her. Yeah, she did. But you know, also they, re- they don't really have anything without David. You yeah. Know? No, I get that. You can't like, yeah, you can't hold that against that for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was very, very nice to me. I really liked her. She's so sweet. She She's sad. so funny. I just get sad over it, you know? Like, I can't even say bad shit, you know, about certain people. Yeah. I would love to go in on some of them. And I, and we are. We are. I mean... I mean, I feel like being nice. I, I'm good to go in, but I feel like I'm being nice. Let's pull up somebody that she won't be too fond of. Kyle, you know oh what I'm talking God. about. Who is it? Can we blur the face if it's traumatizing? <laughs> I can just, I just know. I don't even love it. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. That photo's sure. crazy. I have nothing to say on this one. You guys can go. That's fair. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know why I still have like a soft spot in my heart for him because he like let me open for him at shows and he was like a good friend at times. But at the end of the day, bro, you fucking... You I know the don't, deal, and you, just don't, you don't do anything about Same. it. Same. Like, you know? does not cross my mind either way. I'm like, don't know. You don't care. I have yeah. no thoughts like, about you. I'm yeah. worried about, you know, 25-year-old right. shit. Sat He's worried there about and, He sat there on that podcast and let that shit go down, where he just, like, yeah, fuck it. Yeah, you're that right, much David. You... It's so, like, it's so hard what you had to go through. Like, yeah, so why are you giving him so, so much yeah, Fuck all them. You give Jason a lot of I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And it's just, uh, you it know. It does, like, surprise me always, because you'll be like, fuck Todd. But, like, what's the difference between <laughs> well, Todd, Todd and Jason? Todd's like actually like was my best friend at okay, times, but like fuck and Zane. I just feel like yo, like, he, you say not? shit to me like yo, if you need to sue, then sue. Like if I need to sue, motherfucker, you're doing fans, you're selling your ass to, and who's buying? Jason's doing OnlyFans, not girls, no. Who? It's uh, Todd. 
Oh, he's doing OnlyFans? Yeah, he just says shit that, like, he fucking texted me shit that will piss me off. You Recently know? or back then? If I need to do, I don't need to do shit. Oh. I'm crushing like, it. Literally You're selling your ass to who's buying those. Well, maybe, maybe he's, he's for the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would put him up in the charts for me. I mean, he was always so nice to me, so I have no thoughts. When I, I like lost all of them as friends, like I was that one hurt the, the saddest most. about Zayn. Yeah, yeah, he was very nice and fun, and he was very cool to me. He's always like, "Trish, I love you." Like he's always, I don't know. Yeah, is there anything bad to say about him? I don't know. Not really. Other than he just jumped with the team. <laughs> I would put yeah, Scott yeah. like kind of up there. Like he's sweet. Yeah. But when it's for the girlfriend too, when someone has a girlfriend, I love. I like. No, they broke up. No, Jacqueline. No, they didn't. They're going to get married. No, you're, you're thinking of, of the... Kristen. Kristen. Yeah. I love her. Yeah, she's a sweetie. What happened? They bro- When did they break up? They broke up a while ago. Scott's in like a three-year relationship now. Yeah. Like with this girl, Jacqueline, but I love her. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> we, we don't, don't, I don't know. Both of them, we don't have to decide on the same tier <laughs> okay. for them. Like you have your feelings about Scott. I, I, Scott, I think Scott's my boy. I the one I, I person like who defended David so hard. Like David's a great guy. Like he wouldn't do that. I just, I never want violence. But I never want to punch someone so much in the face. I was just like, wow, you are such, I mean, literally the dumbest of all of them. I know, but Truly I did that too. If I, if I didn't have everything happen to me, you know, maybe I would have still been doing that. I doubt it now. But like back then, I sort of, you know, I did the same. Like not that far. I didn't ride from that. Once I really looked at it, like, wait, we're talking about a girl here that was actually That's like assaulted. evidence. There's evidence. And, and like... People don't want to be known for shit like that. I don't think people understand that like when they're in this business, they just want more attention and more clout. Like normal people don't want to be known as somebody yes. who was assaulted. Yeah. You know, like. No. Is, uh, so no, I that's thought, why I was like. I saw oh. Moses scratch and I thought he was like going like this. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, who side are you on, bro? <laughs> he never stopped you. Maybe he should. <laughs> no, no, no. No, but. Um, yeah, so I like. I, he has I so really, many issues, so I, I give him a little slack because he's like depressed all the time and. So I mean, that's do, what his songs say. I don't know. I'm not like into his life, but. Yeah, musicians, yeah. they open themselves up. You Why know? is every song he's just like, I'm sad. I hate my life. Everything sucks. I'm like, oh my God. You're really like, have a girlfriend. Like, yeah. and you still have a girlfriend. Why are you so depressed? Uh, yeah, see, I wanted this on, on other people. You got to do this to Scott. <laughs> I wanted you to do <laughs> that's this. That's that video. <laughs> Him just smirking. David's like a nice guy. I'm like, oh my God. That's like the worst excuse you can give for yeah. someone. I mean, I would throw Scott A. We can put him know? in we can put him in B as a middle ground because he's like oh, yeah. depressed and has issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. All right, I'll take that. We yeah, we could kind of agree on that, you know. All right, we got one but more. Who's what is there? Like a grand finale, or is, did you save the best for last? I thought I mean, Do we have I don't even really remember all of them. Should we go on famous birthdays and see if there's like <laughs> They're not on Wikipedia. You know, they don't got no Wikipedia pages. They don't give that to celebrities' friends. It is crazy how. Oh, wait, who's that? Is that Matt King, right? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice. Yeah, he's a nice. He just means no harm. He's like a golden Uh, retriever, like a little clueless, but like, you know. We were too fucking nice. No, but he was nice too. Like, he was there. There's some people that are genuinely nice, and you're like, what are you doing here? You know what I mean? I know, but my whole thing with Matt was like, we used to, like, our bit was that we didn't like each other. We didn't get along because we were so different. Matt's like this good guy that, uh, like, reads all these books, and I'm just a criminal drug dealer, you know? And that's that. So we would go at it. But I guess the bit's over because we're not joking around no more. Yeah. You know? He's going to come on Jeff FM, but that'll, I'll give you $1,000 a day he does that. I was going to say 10000 but maybe he'd come on. I think he would. He sounded, he <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he might. He might. I don't think he will. I don't really care, to be honest, but right. it was just nice that he offered like the gesture. Yeah. I respect that. I, it doesn't take much for me to like see something in somebody and be like, you know what? Like how you wrote for me, you, even like the stuff you spoke about, just telling the truth yeah. meant so much to me. Seeing you on her show and then on your own show when you guys were talking. Yeah. I don't want to have all these beefs out there, but if there are ba- if they are bad people, I enjoy it. Breaking people from least favorite to most favorite <laughs> and then saying you no don't beef. want any beef is amazing. But, but these are people that didn't give a fuck about me, you know? Uh, some of them, the bottom There's half. true. There's some people yeah, yeah, who are, yeah. yeah. The worst so it's, I love this. This is fun. Like, I, <laughs> wow, I look for yeah. people, I look for beefs, but I never really Should get any smoke from, like, from who anybody. who I fucked, who have not fucked. Oh my like, God, how the many? Worst Can you give us numbers? Have you slept with some of them? Two of people what? on that. No way. Wait, two? two? What? <laughs> Todd? No. Wait, really? what? Really? No, 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 I'm Todd. Isn't that funny? Can you say it? We can no, but it's I'm funny so to cheap. see if people can figure it out. How do we feel? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to get canceled. Everyone's like, you're a mom. She hasn't changed. <laughs> no, you didn't, you didn't really change. Honestly, it's just like, I just needed like a little release. You know what I mean? Like these people I haven't talked in like so long. And like I am, like 
again, I'm like lucky enough to say this. I'm in a position where I can like forget about it because it like doesn't bother me. But you, on the other hand, like you said, like living with it day in, day out, like feeling your eye move and like seeing them just like live their best lives when they like ruined yours. Like really, I mean, you did great from what happened, but it's like insane to me. Like I, if someone did that to me and I had to see them just like on snap, that's why I unfollowed Jojo because like, even though it wasn't like that serious, I don't follow her because she was just like living as like she did. You don't want to see people you hurt that who hurt you thrive no matter what, you know? So then to see someone like who actually physically hurt you, gaslit you, called you the liar, said it was your thing. Like, I would just, I don't know how you deal with it. Like, that's why I was asking you in my podcast, like, do you do praying? Do you do like meditation? Walk? Like, what do you do? Like, you need to, because that shit will Ridiculous endurance training. I'll just go run for 10 hours. It means so much that, you know, you guys just have empathy and you understand things, you know, women. Okay, wow. <laughs> like a human being. We're but... Barbie and he's just he's Ken. Just Ken for real. I'm just a kid. <laughs> I got no that. genitals down here, just plastic. Oh my I'm starting to believe that. Yeah. Oh my God, really? You, that's so funny. I got to watch this movie now. I just feel like it's it, so good. I think you would like it. Like, he I'd would like fucking, it. I think he'd I hate, hate it. it now, especially after hate I got it. roasted, I'm the worst character in it. The Ken's kind of, I hate to say this because the whole thing is about patriarchy and how, like, whatever, but the Ken's are kind of the best part about it, which is, like, sucks because the movie's Ryan supposed to be about so, he, he made that good. movie. Yeah, he's actually so good in it. Not that I've ever seen it. <laughs> like, yeah, <I'm, laughs> but people love it. I just saw the dancing scene, and that was cool. So good. I loved America for I think she made that movie. Yeah, she was like, like surprisingly her character, good. That was like what got me like choked up and shit was her character. Oh, for sure. Her character had the heart. Margot Robbie had the fashion and the cuteness. And I all just love stuff. Margot. She's my me number too. one celebrity crush. Like I could stare me at her for too. hours. Oh, and yeah. Hours. She's like who I'd like to think is in my head when they're like, who would play you in a movie? I'm like, Margot Robbie. <laughs> 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 She's who I like to think I look like. I'm like, okay, I love her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you guys did the Wolf of Wall Street crossplay too. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we did. I feel and, like every girl. And like, and you were so upset because uh, Todd and Natalie like did it before us, but like way more Walmart. I mean, we kind of did it. I did it like in 2018. For a music video, I'm just saying so, so fun. I was just upset because you took too Queen. long, and we were like we were waiting to post it. Like, when you we shot a whole commercial the that day for Friends with Benefits too. Like as that, we shot what? a whole commercial. We never yeah, released wait. it. <laughs> I might just release that this year and be like, "There's no podcast, but enjoy." Why this don't we content. just do it? Just make, do it. Yeah, you're always on okay, his okay. and stuff. Why don't you just do it? Because then like, we'll skip like canceled and Jeff FM that week, and then you don't you really know. go on canceled though. I think we could wrap it up because we got so much. It's been this has been great. How long have you guys got? Oh, you don't have the timer down there. We wow. have. Wow. We did an hour and a half. That's like yours too. It was like an hour 48. Holy I thought it was there for like shit. an hour. What I was the like, fuck? Shit. I thought we were going to, I said an hour, 10 hours. I think hour. you guys should do an episode at some point too where you don't just delve into all the negative vlog squad shit and you actually like, like her life is so That's crazy. That's what the your people life want so though. Crazy. They see us together. They, they want that. Yeah. People would love like something, you know, I don't His know. His audience does me. not want to hear about me. Like, you know, you've such an interesting life to anyone. I think you're crushing it now. I like, and I always thought you were so entertaining. Like even when you were at rock you bottom, you were still cranking out fucking fire content. I you love know? to make money. I'm like a hustler. Like I love to just like that's make money. That's why we get along. That's why, yes. And that's, that's why I think with you too, like making that documentary and doing the Patreon, like you were charging 40 bucks a month. I'm like, oh my God, get it. Like I was paying no, that. No, it was you know? not. It was yes. five. It was five. No, there no, was there a, was a go- uh, Godfather team. There was a Godfather team that got you FaceTimes. You could have FaceTimed oh, back shit. then. Oh <laughs> <laughs> shit. That would have been the exclusive. I cut that out though because I was like, <laughs> it was a lot. The it's a lot. I, was, yeah, I needed therapy so bad. I was definitely a 39 tier person. I needed to be going to therapy so bad, but I was like so like, ah, I don't fucking need it. I don't need it. You're FaceTiming so these I'm random just fans. Yeah, fans. And I was doing therapy with them. So I'm staying on the calls for like oh an hour. And they're wow. like, yeah, oh my God. do 40 more of these today. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, 40? Wow. Well, I would do them all in like oh, yeah, you should be charging a more. day or two. Yeah, you know? a lot. Yeah. And then I was like, this idea has kind of worked for a little, but it was just You should have done like cameos or something. I'm going like, to start doing that. Well, it's supposed Telling to be a five minute call. people like all the shit I can't tell anyone. Yeah. That's every, oh, you would? You would tell them like the Oh, uh, everything. Yeah. I'd be talking <laughs> shit on other people that they like, but they just think of as characters. And I'm like. <laughs> That's something I never did with like fans. I never was like, let me tell you the tea on this Same. person. You know what? I mean. I'm the only one that I think did that. Well, I can think of another person. Oh my God. So funny. I was going to make that joke. <laughs> Should I bring him back? Let me know in the comments if we should bring back FaceTimes on Patreon for $40. Oh my God, I love that for you. You're so like giving. I'll buy one. You can get them (laughs) for free anytime. Yeah, all the time. She'll be getting her makeup done. She's got hair extensions all out. She just had sex with somebody the night before. She's like, God, what the fuck yeah. are we going to fucking You'll do? You'll be like Jeff at the Fennel? gym, like, grunting, eating a steak with your raw hands. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I do, love a, I do love a steak. 
But he picks it up with his hands and like physically oh, eats it like I a burger. I sometimes do things thing for her to laugh. Scary. I don't actually do that, but I mean, sometimes I do, but I'll like you do, do it at a restaurant with you just to make you laugh. Yeah. That's, That's nice. Because oh it's God. just like, you know, look at this man. He's just so, he's an animal, you know, just ridiculous. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got an ick for the first time. <laughs> All right, ick. Dangle your little legs and tell him bye. Yay. This is crazy. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the set, but I think it's a one and done here, you know? Oh my God. I don't think, can you get this in? Is it in the shot? Oh, wow, you're playing the young. Kyle. Yeah. 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 Kyle's been killing it sound bites the whole episode. Ah, are you actually? Yeah, you just couldn't hear him. I didn't know if there was like little words on it. Thank you.